Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 13 Road to the Show with Theo Bonds. This is episode 20 and today's episode we're going to go back on the diamond and this time we're going to go play against the Rolling Rock Express once again, this time at home uh, at their house uh, there in, in uh, Rolling Rock, Texas. And there you see we're playing as Theo Bonds who is a triple A starter. Uh, and his uh, next training days in the next five days, he's already completed two of four goals achieved, and he has one more day until his um, goal time is uh, is left for this game. So, also in this episode, we have a quick um, spotlight video uh, of Theo uh, from the guys here at MLB 13 talking about uh, his accomplishment on the diamond and a possible maybe getting called up well we'll see but right there you see his goals and the results of the goals that he just achieved so he had completed all uh, four goals now he has another set of goals now there he has to get three or more home runs uh, work on his reaction time and fielding ability uh, before he can um, get cleared for these goals so he has two weeks to complete these goals and I will definitely say that he can get those done especially with the home runs with the way he's been bat hitting the ball so right now we're going to get to the next game and we're going to get to it right here right now and but before we get to that let's get to matt the excursion and him and uh let's get to him and talk he's going to talk about um in the player spotlight about theo bonds take it away matt and welcome back, everybody. Matt Vaskersian prepping you for tonight's AAA PCL action. But before we get to the ball game, let's have a look at the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Theo Bonds is highlighted here as he's been making waves with his play of late. And I think the club would love to have him on the 40-man roster. However, there's not any room currently, so he'll have to stay put for the time being. Yeah, it's got to be frustrating for him, but he's also got to be encouraged by how well he's played. So getting a promotion is really out of his control, so he'd be better off not concerning himself with that. So he can control his own performance, and I think as long as he keeps doing his thing, he won't have to wait too long to get to where he wants. You know, eventually, they'll want to see what he can do at the next level. Okay. Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. All right, so there you guys go. We got a little uh, information about uh, the player uh, spotlight from the guys at MLB 13 to show. And now we're going to go ahead and get to the first game of a four-game series against Round the Round Rock Express here. Uh, it's the Redbirds. We're in, we're in uh, Round Rock, and I uh, have to play against these guys once again. So top of the first. One out, runner off first, and this ball is lying. It is deep. It is gone. Home run. Theo Bonds here today. And again, the Round Rock Express. Uh, having trouble with Bonds there at his at bats. I mean, if it's not a if it's not a pop up, it's usually a home run. And again, Theo Bonds giving them a lot of trouble in this game. Let's see the replay. There you see. Right there, he hung that pitch right up there, there. I mean, and that ball that is long Remember, gone there, right center. I almost thought so that ball was going to be short as way it's scoring so far up. I thought it was going to come back uh, short there, and the right fielder was going to catch it. So, top of the third, one out, 3-3 three, three tie, and then you see a nice ground ball right there past the first baseman for a nice single there. Bonds, again, still got to work on his batting, or his... Uh, his uh, point, base running I uh, got to get his speed up uh, I'm sure that they would love to have him be somewhat of a speedster um, to be on the bases so he one of those times where he can get doubles and stuff like that um, you know he can be in uh, in a scoring position for the next uh, batter behind him so let's go ahead and top of the fifth one out or no excuse me there's no outs but runner on first down by two and there you see a nice hit. It's deep. It is gone. It is it. S. It's a home run. A two-run shot right there. Now makes four RBIs in this game. And two home runs for Bonds in this game one against the Round Rock Express. I'm pretty sure they are going to make sure they do uh, 
uh, be very, very careful with him at his next at bat. There you see touching the plate and getting that home run scored on the play on the score sheet there. So Bonds once again goes around and well, brings someone like home with him before. with it's a runner on the, run the base uh, there at that at bat. What a home so run right there. Talk about the fans in. getting some uh, souvenirs in that game. So top of the seventh. One out, down by two still, 7-5. There you see a pop-up. Is this going to be his third one? Last last two been the same way, and no, that one is out. A high pop-up there to the right fielder for a easy, routine pop-out fly. So there you see Bonds uh, definitely putting a good charge on the ball, and I know the Express are probably thinking we should have walked him that time. So top of the ninth, score still 7-5. Down by two. Runners on first. And then you see Bonds hits it deep in left center there. And then you see uh, the runner at second takes off and decides and says, you know what, I'm going to make it home. So there you see he gets home. He is safe. Now the score being 7-6. We end the game with a score of 7-6. There you see Bonds two for five, two, uh, four for five. Two home runs and five RBIs and two runs in the ball game. There you see it. Uh, the stat line for him and oh man talk about a lot of hits and normally you get a lot of hits that means you guys got an excellent chance of winning the ball game but not in this case uh, the Redbirds fall by one in this game one against the Round Rock Express so there you see his stat line so so far for the season he has uh, 35 RBIs uh, 17 home runs and a batting average at 400 so he's doing quite well for himself so uh, go ahead and skip to uh, go to uh, game two which we actually lose bonds get the day off for having a great dick game so we'll go ahead and get to game three and there you see our uh, home and away records right there 32 and 27 at home 22 and 27 on the road and our current record is 54 and 54 for the season. Now you see Round Rock doing very well, well above 573 and 35. So go to game three here, top of the first, runner on first. So you see a chopper there to the second baseman. And the second baseman overthrows it, and that should have been a routine double play, but instead that's an error on the uh, second baseman and E4 on him that time and the runner does score on that uh at that at bat so rbi for bonds and oh a nice catch talk about a web gem there right there at bonds second at bat right there murray uh actually second baseman uh same guy that overthrew uh, makes it up at the next at bat at bonds is, and gets that web gem right there ladies and gentlemen that's going to definitely be on uh, espn baseball tonight uh minor league edition there <laughs> Uh, at, with that catch, whoa, man, talk about a catch. So let's go ahead and get to the top of the six, one out, score four, one, and a pop-up by Bonds, and that one is going to be an easy out for the shortstop to catch that ball and get the out. So Bonds uh, here at the top of the eighth, bases are loaded, six to one. Bonds hits it, and that one is gone. Grand slam. That is Bonds' second grand slam as a triple a player ladies and gentlemen his second one this season uh, the first one you guys didn't get to see because I didn't capture it but this one wow talk about a I mean just he just puts a charge on this ball and there you see his teammates congratulating him for that home run right there so Bonds now his 18th home run of the season his second grand slam in his triple a career wow Talk about a home run right there. Talk about a souvenir for those fans out there, the Express. So we got a final score of six to five. There you see Bonds one for four, one run, one home run, and bringing home four RBIs with that one home run right there. So you see there is uh, the notables of the game right there. Uh, Jimmy Gaines uh, gets his 40th save for the express there so again we're losing games uh, you know at a close call uh, so that was game three against the express there you see the bond stat line you guys want to see uh, these there you see a e4 uh, and uh, 
everything else on his stat line for the day. And then you can see uh, some of the points I got for uh, his attributes and stuff in the game. Uh, but man, talk about it. what a game! A grand slam and then coming up short with a win, win loss. Air. So we'll go ahead and go to game four. And the you see this, this uh, the, uh, and the, uh, the uh, standings are here, 74 and 35, 54 and 55. So now we're a game below 500. So top of the first here, runner on first. And you see a, a line drive right there past the first baseman, unable to get there. And so now Bonds gets a single. And have, but we do have a runner in scoring position, so you, we'll see what like we can do with the next guy coming back. But look at this I replay mean, this here. There, I mean, swing. seriously, I don't think they've all, ever. Sure he's enough, always he either got all contact or he's gotten the ball points. over the field and uh, scoring. So still one-one, top of the third, runner at second, no outs. 1-0 uh, pitch right here, and that one is sky high. Is that one deep enough to go yard? And no, it's not. It's an easy out right there for the right fielder. And the runner at second makes advances to third on that play. So then, oh, his next at bat, I believe it was well, in the fifth there. He gets hit by a pitch, and trust me, Bonds is probably thinking, you know what, I know I've been doing damage to you guys, but uh, that's not necessary. So I wonder if that was uh, being called by the coach there. Uh, top of the seventh here, Bonds, uh, we're down by three, four to, four to one. There you see Bonds gets in, and I believe he scores in, gets two runs in that time. Uh, so that's two RBIs for him. So top of the ninth, we're down by two. 2-2 two -two pitch, no outs. There you see our ripper. Oh, and the third baseman unable to get that ball, to ground that ball, or excuse me, fill that ball uh, that time. And Bonds gets another RBI in the, for the game. So we'll get to the end of the game here. We lose again by one. 4-3, to three. Bonds 3-4, three for four, two RBIs in the game. Uh, you see Stewart St. John, one for four, two, uh, a double, a walk, and two runs uh, from him. But there you see Bonds hit by a pitch there in the fifth uh, inning there. Uh, it still makes me wonder uh, if they just did that on purpose. So they you know, figured, hey, you know, if we don't, if we don't actually pitch to him, we just hit him. We, uh, we got a good chance of him. We got a better chance of him not scoring because, uh, you know, the guy behind him might be uh, struggling or something. But you never know. So. Uh, I, I'm, I'm swerving down. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that the coach uh, called for that. So, but you know, that's just me. So, <laughs> uh, but you see, Redbirds, we lose by one, four to three. Both teams uh, commit an error in the game, and the hits, uh, ten hits for the Redbirds, thirteen hits for the Express. So, there you see, 18 home runs, 41 RBIs, batting average of 408 for the season, and again. Uh, not, not the best uh, way they, the guys won uh, end up losing that series, uh, all four games in the series. So, you guys, uh, we'll see what Bonds and the Redbirds can do uh, when they play against the Tucson um, Padres. Are wrongly enough, they are the San Diego Padres AAA organization. Hmm. Who would have thought? Well, that's it for this episode of. MLB 13 Road to the Show with Theo Bonds. Until then, as always, keep yourselves each other healthy, and I will see you guys next time.